In order to understand meditation and how to get results from the process of it, we have to realize first we are the soul within our human. And once we understand that we're a dual being, we then can appreciate our shadow, our ego, or as I like to term, our human. See, our human picks up on our senses from our body, our hearing, our sight, our taste, our touch, and these senses are transmitted to our brain and then received back from our brain. That is our brain's job. But our brain is associated with our human. So when our human understands that, well, wait a minute, through these neurotransmitters, these signals that are firing off from one to another are positive, then our human begins to relax. So how do we get to that point of being able to relax enough so that the thoughts and feelings are all of positivity and are in alignment with what we wish as a result and wish to manifest? Well, a part of that is understanding that our human needs acknowledgement awareness see we go through life most often abusing our human expecting our human to simply go along with life's program which could very well be the system society parents professors partners family life responsibilities obligations have really put out there for our human to follow. Regardless of whether our human wants to follow these, these rules or abide by society or families or even our partner's wishes, children's, parents, our human is subjected to that energy in the 3D, the third dimension. Now, quantum physics has already established those rules and that humanly logical definition and that standpoint. But meditation is quite different from that way of life and the results that your human is probably used to receiving. So, given thought to what our brain does, send and receive messages from our human. We also have this thing called the mind. The mind is a faculty of cognitive aspects that include the results that you want from meditation. So here we have this mind that science does not have a clear understanding of. We know what the brain looks like. You can look at an image of a brain and you can say that is a human brain and I understand that to be true. But you cannot understand what the mind looks like unless it is your mind. See the mind is consciousness imagination, perception, thinking, intelligence, judgment. The mind is language. The mind is memory. And so our mind exists within our brain, but our brain is very limited and our brain is attached to our human. And when we are not including our mind in the process of meditation, we are then not controlling our human's brain. 
See, the mind allows us to see that very vision of the desired outcome that we wish. The mind allows us to see a vision of something we want, we wish for, we hope for. We've been praying for this thing that we constantly see. Unfortunately, what happens is that most of us were programmed to believe that we can't have that very thing that we constantly see in our mind, that vision. Because that vision is fantasy. It is imagination. It is something that defies human logic. It goes against the human brain. And so once we understand that we are the soul within our human, we then understand the key to receiving the results we wish to receive from meditation and ultimately manifestation. We are able to manifest the very things that we see in our mind because we then control our human's brain to send and receive different feelings through the signals that we're using already. Take for example the reason you want to meditate. Oftentimes it's because society, circumstances, your life, something happened that brought you to a low vibrational energy. You feel anxiety, depression, anger, sadness, pain. There's overwhelm, obligation, responsibility. And that very energy is burdensome. It's heavy. And you feel the weight on your shoulders. You might have an upset stomach, a migraine. The metaphysical reaction to the signals that your brain is sending your body, your human, and that your body, your human, is sending back. And so you want relief. You want peace, tranquility. You want answers to the questions on your soul. And so as you take a deep breath in and you prepare to relax your human and you exhale out and you focus on your desired outcome, you are not only reprogramming your human's brain, but you are using your spiritual sight your mind's eye. And once you engage your mind, you are controlling your human's brain. And once you control your human, you are able to receive the desired outcome and result through meditation and manifest what it is you give your energy to. So let's do that in totality right now. Take a beautiful deep breath in. You are raising your vibration. You are focusing on your desired outcome and you exhale out, flowing out past the pain, the anger, the sadness. You inhale in and you see that beautiful desired outcome through your mind. You're consciously aware. You're creating and establishing a new memory. Your narrative is positive. I can have that. You exhale out what you do not want and you push it away with your human's hands. Push it away from you. Inhale in. Pull in that vision of what is possible. I want that, yes, I want that. You are seeing as you bring your hands closer to you, you are pulling that vision to you. And on your exhale, 
you are pushing away the current circumstances that you feel physically that are causing you pain, anger, migraines, upset. And on your inhale, you are thinking and fantasizing and imagining and saying inside through your changed narrative, I am, I can, I do. It is possible. It is mine. And as you repeat those cycles of inhalations associated with neurotransmission of positive signals and good vibes, and you use your human's hands to pull that energy physically to you in a metaphysical, symbolic motion of bringing all of the visions you are seeing in your mind's eye to you. You are in fact engaging the quantum field and that energy is real. And you get to share this with your human who needs scientific reasoning and human logic that the very energy that you are inhaling attached to your mind that you are seeing in your vision exists inside of what science calls the quantum field, which is the spiritual realm. And now that you know through the law of attraction the universe is bringing you that very thing you begin to feel relaxed and your shoulders drop and fall back and you begin to receive the tranquility and the peace and you begin to see the answers begin to surface and the puzzle pieces begin to come together and on your exhale you feel even closer even more balanced that that vision of your desired outcome is very real in fact it is happening as you experience it you are living it consciously and as you become even more mindful that every time you inhale deeply and you physically pull your vision close to you with your very human's hands. In that motion, you may very well feel the smile cross your face that you have already begun to change your energy and to reprogram your human's brain. And now as you begin to repeat those cycles, of deep inhalations and complete exhalations, you realize your memory is changing. Ever so slightly, you are focusing on that desired outcome, that vision, and your human is responding with a metaphysical reaction of tranquility peace, happiness. And as you begin to put the puzzle pieces to the answers that you are forming, you begin to realize that you are becoming best friends with your human and you are in sync with each other as the soul within your human and you are manifesting that very thing that you were once unable to 